actually I was making the game in pixel art. And in fact, I went through two different pixel art art styles. But as my abilities in game making have developed and I've played new games, I wanted to switch up the art style. So on one of the occasions that I decided to restart the game again, I decided that I'd do a 2.5D art style like in the new Super Mario Brothers games and the new Donkey Kong series as well. I really like that 2.5D style and I thought that was something I could do for myself. So I went along, I made the main character, and I did some tile sets, and I actually still think they look pretty nice, but I was recently playing a bunch of Metroidvania games, and I really, really have fallen in love with that genre. So I thought, maybe I can turn this game into a Metroidvania, and I just finished playing Hollow Knight, and I really loved that hand-drawn art style. So I thought, maybe this is something I could do. But having gone through so many changes in the game, I was like, do I really want to do another change? So I thought, well, you know what? I'll ask ChatGPT. I'll give it a description of both art styles, and I'll see what it has to say. So I'm just going to pull up what it told me. All right, so this is what it said when I asked it about the two different art styles. It said, both hand-drawn 2D animation and 2.5D animation can be a great choice for a game, depending on the specific style you're going for and the overall feel of the game. Hand-drawn 2D animation, like in Hollow Knight, can give a game a unique and stylized look. It can also add a sense of depth and texture to the game's environments and characters. This style can work well for games that are more story-driven or focused on exploration, as it allows for more intricate and detailed visuals. 2.5D animation, like in the new Super Mario Bros. games, can also be a good choice for games that are more focused on gameplay and action. This style can give the game a more playful and upbeat feel, and it can make the game's environments and characters feel more dynamic and interactive. Additionally, the 2.5D style can allow for interesting level designs and gameplay mechanics that take advantage of the player's ability to move between different layers of the game's environments. Ultimately, the choice between these two styles, or another style altogether, will depend on the specific goals and vision for your game. Consider what kind of experience you want to create for your players and which style will best capture that experience. Additionally, consider the skills and resources of your development team, as different art styles may require different tools and techniques. Now, the first one, the hand-drawn 2D animation, right? Obviously, I used Hollow Knight as an example for that. But it's funny, when I was reading the explanation here for the 2.5D style, that absolutely makes sense for the new Super Mario Brothers games, but I was thinking, I recently bought Mega Man 11, and that is a perfect example of how it fits into that style as well. And the original vision for my game actually had I gone in that direction, the 2.5D animation would have been the right choice for that, but I've been wanting to make my game into a Metroidvania, make it more story-driven, which is really interesting, considering that the uh, hand-drawn 2D an animation kind of complements that. So, right there, that was that was pretty much it. That, that was all I needed to make the choice to switch from 2.5D to hand-drawn animation, and I might not have came to that conclusion had it not been for ChatGPT. So, yeah, I found that very interesting, and I'm hoping that the information that I just read off to you helps you in some way. And if it doesn't, just consider if you're having some problems deciding what to do, what kind of artistic direction to take your game in, just try asking ChatGPT. You might be surprised with the answer that it comes up with. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you liked this, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Thank you, and I'll talk to you later.